Hello, my name is Donald Carling, and I am from Desert High School, and the project I did is called the Spice of Bread Mold, in which I studied the effect of cinnamon on the inhibition, inhibition of mold growth on bread. And I hypothesized if I were to increase the concentration of cinnamon in the baking process of bread, then it would delay the initial appearance of mold and the growth rate of mold for each piece of bread. And I baked a total of 10 loaves of bread and split them into two different groups in which they had different concentrations of cinnamon through teaspoons. And with this, I cut them into various slices and put them into plastic bags and let them sit, one set out on the table, the other set in a cabinet. And as time went on, I would record when mold appeared and when with the growth rate of mold. And in terms of what my data found, I found that as the cinnamon concentrations increased, the total mold growth changed when mold appeared changed and the overall growth rates changed in, w in which as it got higher, the overall growth rates and appearances got lower. So in terms of what that means, it means that the data supported my conclusion in which cinnamon did affect the mold growth on bread as the sets that had no mold, uh, this, I, I meant the sets that have no cinnamon developed much more mold as opposed to the rest. If you were to look at that picture right here, you could see some of the bread pieces in which they had forms of black mold on them in which these were the ones in the cabinet. So that was the project I did for this year's Curd County Science Fair and I hope you enjoyed it. Oh. Um, my idea for this project was that I researched and found that about 6 million pounds of bread were discarded each year in the report and about 5% of those were due to fungus and it's inefficient for bakers because they lose much profits and it's inefficient for people themselves because that's bread that they could eat. So I thought it would be a good idea to find ways to inhibit mold better but I didn't want to use chemicals as chemicals aren't always the best for humans. But in a previous year, I did a project with plants in which I found that cinnamon actually inhibited the mold that grew on soil. So if it worked for plants, I thought, why wouldn't it work for bread? So that was one of my big inspirations to try to inhibit the mold growth on bread.